What's up guys, I'm Spencer, and today I'm gonna show you how to do the Hank 5. I am also here with Chad. Chad, say hello. 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 Uh, I'm just gonna show you all the tricks and tips and everything that's gonna help you learn how to do this. It's really fun, so you should watch the video. All right, so the first step for doing the Hank 5 is trying to find somewhere where you're comfortable with falling on the ground because you're probably gonna fall on the ground, so I should probably also wear a helmet. Uh, I like it here because it's nice and smooth and there's these lines that kind of indicate the distance you're going so you can always like set goals if you do like one square you can go to the next square so a parking lot is probably the best option for you guys so I'm just gonna go over like the basics on like where to start for the hang five. First thing you want to do is put your foot like the ball of your foot on your peg so you got a nice platform to stand on because you're gonna be putting about like probably like half your weight on your peg you think Chad? About half. Then the thing you want to look at is bringing the seat up to your butt and how you do that is you push your arms forward, kind of keep your chest over your bars, and when you push your arms forward and lock them, you have something to sit on, like your seat won't move. And this is something that I never was told until many years of trying hang fives. So I would always just try to get into it and like not have, my seat would just kind of dangle, and it, it is like pretty much impossible to master it and lock it in. So you want to make sure you push up, get the seat in the butt, all right, we're gonna have Chad bring the seat up to his butt in slow motion because he's used to having things up there. So he should be pretty comfortable. See, he, he's got it, he's sitting on it. Arms are locked. Notice how his shoulders are pretty much over his hands. Good job, Chad. Now look where my seat is, okay? I know some people slam their seat, so the farther your seat is slammed, pretty much the steeper you're gonna have to get your hang five, and it's gonna be a little harder. I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to start trying it, which is pretty much just ride up with one foot on the peg and work on pushing into it. And we're gonna go over the balance points and all that stuff, but I'm just gonna go step by step so it's easier for me to format the video. Here we go. So probably one of the more scary things that might stray you away from hang fives is flipping over the bars. So you're gonna make sure you're comfortable with flipping over the bars because you're gonna do it a lot. And you're gonna need to know how to bail on it. You don't wanna like get caught up with your feet in the bars and then just belly flop. So I'm gonna flip over, just kinda show you guys what it's what probably gonna happen. Like I'm not gonna plan it, I'm just gonna like suck at hang fives and flip over at some point. So it'll just be a spontaneous call. Chad's gonna show us his bail. He went for the, the candy bar bail. So once you start going kind of far, like two parking space or something, you may start turning a little bit. And you're probably wondering why it's because you're not distributing your weight equally, like on your handlebars. If you push one arm down, or if you put more weight on one arm than you are the other, then what that's gonna do is, it's gonna slightly turn your wheel. And when you turn your wheel like that, it's gonna start wanting to go the way you're leaning, okay? So, tips on straightening out, equal distribution of weight on the handlebars. If you want to turn, uh, you're going to need to use your foot. It's easier to turn the way your foot is swinging. Your hanging leg is going to be your like correction tool doing the hang five. Like if you start leaning too far forward, what you're going to do is, is kind of throw your, your weight back. Or throw, you're going to want to throw your foot back yeah. and it's going to make you not flip forward as much and give you a little time to correct yourself. And same thing, if you're going uh, too far back, you can just stanky leg your foot out and it might, it might bring the, the back end back up and you can keep going. All right, so that's a couple tips that's gonna help you correct like if you mess up, but in order to like master the hang five, you're really just gonna wanna lock up and kind of relax, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just wanna relax, the more like stiff or jittery you are, yeah, the like more the, like the corrections you're gonna throw at yourself. Like the faster you like try to adjust it, the more you're gonna have to do it because it like throws your like weight around a yeah, lot more. Yeah, so you, you kind of just wanna just find your center and maybe just move around a little bit. Just moving your leg a little bit kind of helps keep like a rhythm. I know, I, I usually keep like my like 50% of my weight on my seat and 50% on my foot, like half and half almost. So what just, do you do with your arms? Just keep my arms stiff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Chad's better than me at hang five, so he's gonna 
show you guys how to turn. I'm just gonna kind of coach you guys through it because Chad, Chad will be the stuntman, I'll narrate. Here we go. Okay, we're just going straight. He's turning left, so see how he's putting more of his weight over the left side of his bike? Yeah, turn left again. You, you, he can like pretty much just take his hand off because most of his weight is on the left handlebar. Sure. Yes, the left grip, which is not there. And he's still turning. You're up. Oh. When you turn on hang five, pretty much all you're gonna do is just you can slightly uh, turn your bars and lean. And most of the turning is lean. You never have to zigzag your handlebars, but just basic turning is more leaning and kind of positioning your bike. If you want to turn left, get your bike to the right side, kind of lean in on the left. Same thing for the right, you know. We'll show you a little bit. I'll try to do like a little bit of an extreme turn so you can see when I turn my handlebars, how much it actually like makes me turn. All right, here comes the turn, Chad. Watch the handlebars. Now, once you kind of figure out turning, the next step after turning is being able to turn, shift your weight, and then kind of reset to going straight. Which all you have to do is that, is like you're leaning on your left arm, equal it out again, or maybe push more on the right to kind of swing things back to going straight. And then you can go straight again, and then turn again. And Chad's gonna show you how to do that right now. So you kind of pushed on the right arm. Oh, oh, oh. Turn left, Chad. <laughs> Come all the way over here. High five. Oh. <laughs> so one tip I'm gonna show you guys, it didn't really help me, but I'm gonna put it in the video because I've seen it help people and it actually works, is dragging your foot. Uh, my left foot is the one that hangs, so that's the one you guys should drag, whichever foot is hanging. Uh, pretty much what that's gonna do, if your back end starts to go down, if you scrape your foot on the ground, what it's gonna do, it's gonna throw you kind of forward a little bit and you'll be able to keep the hang five going. So we'll show you that, a little, a little foot drag, cheater mode. The good thing about that is, if someone just sees that in the corner of your eyes, they're gonna think you're a freaking beast at hang fives. But if they're looking right at you, you're gonna be like, oh, that was kinda lame. But it helps, it helps. It helps get you look comfortable. On to the next tip. This is stooping pretty low, but I have a friend, you guys may have seen him before in a video, Emo Skyler, he rollerblades. And I was thinking maybe I could borrow one of his rollerblades and just put that foot on the ground and I should be able to, to go and it'll look smooth. So we're gonna try that out. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. You might need to give me a push, Chad. No, you got it. Oh just my blade God. away. I'm a beast, dude. <laughs> I got it. You ready? Yeah. It looks so stupid. I'm doing a hang five, don't make fun of me, Chad. Now, oh. there we go. Now, if you guys got a good cameraman, they can crop the rollerblade out, <laughs> and people will think you're hang five. All right, so once you kind of figure out doing hang fives, like if you can step into it and go comfortably and kind of lock it in, then you're probably ready to learn how to hop into hang fives, which is probably the hardest part about hang fives, but it's good because you kind of unlock combos. You could do it on curbs, manual pads, even ledges, out of ramps, out of a manual. It just unlocks so many different things. So you're gonna to wanna to learn how to hop into it. It is hard and very painful to learn, at least through my experience. One day I just was like, all right, I'm gonna learn it. Went to a little curb with not that far, probably as long as one of these little boxes. And I sat there for a couple hours and I learned how to hop into it. 
And it gets a little easier over time. You get the muscle memory down, but it is hard to learn how to do it. Maybe coming at a curb at an angle so you can kind of go slow. Like, let's just pretend like this is the curb right here. This is the bottom, this is the top. You can come at it at an angle and like hop onto it this way. So you don't have to like go as far forward and the fall might be a little easier. But well, let's get right into the hopping. Here we go. Kind of try to be quick. Hop, get your front foot on there. Aim for the middle of your foot, obviously. And then the same motion, you, you do that hop, push your bars down, and also kind of sit down, like get your hips low, low, so you can catch the seat. And then it, sometimes it takes a little second to kind of correct it. But once you're on the saddle, you're sailing. So that's pretty much all I can show you guys for the Hang 5, but once you master it, or almost master it like Chad, you can actually do a bunch of combos in like a different branches of the Hang 5 that are harder. That Chad just happens to know all of pretty much somehow. I don't know how, not, but not really. Chad can do a lot of them. <laughs> and he's gonna do them all in one hang five. Okay. <laughs> below a trick you guys would like me to do a how-to for the most liked one I will probably do so leave a comment but before you do scroll through the comments your trick may already be listed so leave a like on it and get it to the top and I'll probably do that in the next how-to relatively soon so do that if you haven't already subscribe to my channel oh I need more speed yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Bro, I think you forgot how to bail. Sometimes you gotta go down with the ship, alright? <laughs>